All right, we have made it back into the game. Server is restart, restarted, hath restarted, however you want to say it. And uh, we're good. Should be good for another couple hours. I don't know how long I'll be playing, but we're going to finish this room. So, let's, let's weld up the stuff I know I'm going to keep. Got myself some soup too, which should be really good. But if you see me pausing randomly, <laughs> it's because I'm eating my soup. So I'll probably pause and stare at something um, and try and figure out what the heck to put there while I have my soup. All right, that stuff's all done. I like this little corner. Fit in our bathroom and our airlock to our back porch, all in basically three blocks, which is pretty darn good. Let's finish up our railing. Of course, I don't have what I need in order to do that. Have a bunch of that. And I'm going to add I'm gonna add a panel here because I don't like looking at the uh, side of that thruster. Makes me a little uncomfortable. So. That's done. I think I want the staircase here. But then I don't really know what to do about the bedrooms. Because I need to do something up here. And something down here. And with the staircase opening this way, it kind of makes it a little bit awkward. Now, I could add a door here and put a bedroom behind some doors. But it's going to be tricky. I think we can do it, though. I need to use the right passageway block, though. Oh, I could use a light, a lit one? Uh, nope, because I need to... Nope, I'm wrong. I need to be able to get back here. So we really... I guess the bedrooms are up top. That's just how it's going to have to be. And we'll put another one right there. And then we'll cover the top to make it a little more cozy. Because I wanted to have four beds, but I guess I'm only going to get, like, three. Three's not bad, though. And we'll put it like that. And I could put something on the bottom. That one's going to have to change. This. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover this. And we'll use a bottom placed block. Like that. I 
Honestly, something like that would be okay for the bedrooms. I still need a block underneath here, though, then. That could work, though. Then we'll have a bunch of uh, standard living quarters underneath. These times like this, I really wish the build planner would let me just queue up tons. that works. That feels pretty good. Yeah. Convenience. Uh, it's a thing of dreams. I do think that this is a good place for a fish tank for some plants though. I'm kind of leaning towards plants. Yeah. We have a fish tank out here. And we can actually make this floor... ...one of these. And it'll just feel nicer to walk on because it'll stay level the whole top. Except right here, but hopefully most people won't notice that. And now we can do all sorts of interior stuff down here. Uh, I did not give the bedrooms a like locker room or anything. So you're just going to have to store your clothes under your bed. And I think most people will just be able to deal with that. It kind of bothers me that this drawer over here is blocked by that little wall part. But uh, I don't know what other blocks we could really use for this that would look good. There's only one other L-shaped block, and it's uh, it's one of these windows. Good. I could do that, I guess. You'd be able to see. I kind of wanted it to be dark, though. And this feels a little bit better. As far as darkness is concerned. So down here... We're going to need some lockers for these people so that uh, they can keep more stuff. And this corner would be a good spot for one of these little corner bar things. And then a kitchen. Oh, can't have a kitchen there because we have ceiling stuff in the way there. That's kind of unfortunate. Uh, but we can deal with that, I think. I could have an insect kitchen. I know there's stuff on the other side here. The game does not want to let me play right now. 
That stuff, I guess, would be okay here. Just do a counter right there, which works quite nicely. the wrong hockey. I kind of like how that lines up. Looks decent. Yeah, yeah, I found the silver. Um, I found every type of resource and I marked it here. We just drove a little bit from the oasis that was over there, but we found uh, gold as well. Speaking of which, um, this is fully extended finally. And it looks like our vehicle drifted a little bit. So I'm gonna try to line that up so we can retract it. We can get down to the gold. Yeah, we found all the different resources, so we're able to, like, finish finish up the vehicle a little bit. Alright, yeah, I need to drive forwards. This has been, uh... There was a server restart while it was drilling, and, uh, that's not a good thing. Forgot about that. We're gonna start retracting this. And hopefully it doesn't get stuck too much. Ugh. Gonna take an actual sentry for this to retract. But that's okay. Just gonna clear out a little bit of room for it. And we're gonna speed up the whole process because. Yeah, it takes forever if I don't. It takes forever to retract this. We're gonna move forwards a little bit too. We really do have to move forwards. Or this is just never gonna happen. Hopefully that's far enough. Gosh, it barely looks like we moved at all. It's slowly starting to look more bent though. So it is coming up. 
yeah, we found everything we wanted to last week. Um, and we pretty much have this rover. Um, the upper interior part's done. It's just this one last room, the guest room, that I want to finish up, and I'm working on that now. And then we can work on other things. And we've got... Um, I need to switch these, it looks like, so that that opens up and not into that. Yeah, that'll work better. It's not going to look as nice on the outside, but it'll look better on the inside. This actually looks good now, because the coffee cup, you can just pull it out right onto the little bit there. It's no longer lined up nicely with that slope, but what can you do? It was so close. So close. And I think I am going to just put a normal block in here. And we'll put the TV there. And we'll try and get some couches in here. It's going to put some weird plants on the wrong side, but it's okay. I do want some seating, like some normal table seating in here. But I could just put that all along that wall. Well, a little bit along that wall. TV there. Uh, I can get a couch in here-ish. Even if it is just one couch. Eh, that kind of makes walking through here difficult. Maybe the inside couch is the way to go there. to say maybe I just won't have a TV in this one oops I like the idea of having a TV in these uh, types of things their option would be to do it a little bit differently. Put some couches along here. TV right here. And then over along this wall, we can have some seating. Either like that, or like that, which I kind of like. And then the LCD. Just go like that. 
You can sit here. Or you can sit facing there. And uh, you can watch your show. Let's get this all welded up. I like this room. Pretty simple. It was a lot easier to put together than the other room. For whatever reason, this one just came together more readily. You need some blinds behind you. If you're like sitting here trying to watch TV with a bright light behind you, it's never gonna work. I hear the clang. I need to go check the drill. Pretty sure that's the drill clanging. Uh, no, there's no lights in the room yet, but I have I have uh, uh, one place right here, right here where I can put a light, which will be fine. Ooh, okay, yeah, it's it needs to move forwards. It. Ooh, okay. Um. Might have to ride this up for a minute. need to not let the server restart while I'm running the drill rig. that's enough to get it out of there. see if I hear it clanging again we'll have to go check again we're gonna have to check all these hinges and whatnot when it's done to make sure it's it's not falling apart amazingly it it hasn't been though for how much it's been clanging it's uh it's doing all right all right um lights you have a good point we need to add a light. I could put an inset light right here. And I think that's actually a good idea. I never use these. But... I have a feeling that they could look all right. Uh, do I go that way or that way or that way? Hmm. How's it look on the outside? Oh, I think that. Hmm. These all look kind of good, honestly. I think I like that though.
yeah. The textures go better that way. So we have a light right here, which would be good. And then we can put a light over here as well. And I would use one of these, but I honestly think it'll just poke through and be a tripping hazard on the top. It'll drive me nuts. So we're gonna use a, uh, we could use one of those. It wouldn't be bad. We could also use it like that. Or we could use the big black panel light. I think it's just a little excessive. I think they look really good, but only if your ceiling is at least two blocks away. I think I might use this. Or this. We'll use that. Lights are resolved. I think that is good. Now we need to get the rest of the glass finished up. And uh, I hear clang again, so go do that. Oh, let's check on the drill. Oh, hopefully it's not blowing up. Oh, I can hear it. It's frustrated. Surprisingly, okay. Took a little damage. The rest of the blocks are alright though. Um, I need this to rotate before it gets up further though. So... And now we can let it finish going up and then we can rotate it. Soon, soon we can rotate it. Looks like our top and bottom angles got messed up a little bit. Hopefully that fixes... Ooh, excuse me. Hopefully that fixes itself as it comes up the rest of the way. A little bit too far there. Let's go back down. 
Let it rotate. And then it should come right up. There we go. No more clang today. Please. And I wonder how we're doing for processing. Darn good. We have most of it processed already. Actually, yeah, we're done processing the stone already. So we have quite a bit of resources from stone. We didn't get down to the gold. I knew that wasn't gonna reach, unfortunately. All of that work building a drill today, and uh, it only goes this far. Which is not enough. That's right. We'll use our little mining ship to get uh, some actual gold farming in. It does look like it's resolving itself slowly. Uh, it's only tilted weird because it was crashing into the walls. My other drill designs would have broken though, um, hitting the walls that much. So it is more robust. Which is nice. As soon as it's level here, we're gonna lock it in place. Before I start driving and it just starts acting like the slinky back here. Alright, that's locked. Uh, we're gonna put the uh, the arm away. That is satisfying, I must say. The spinning arm is, is very satisfying. We'll lock that in place as well. Let's get back inside. We should turn this out oh, the vent. Vent is turned on. I just need to finish the windows. Oh dear. Oh dear rubber bands. What are you doing to me? All right, do we have pressure? Nice, we have pressure. All right, so the guest room is done. It's got three beds. It has a plant, a little kitchen, some lockers. It has its own bathroom, and the door you're just gonna have to imagine slides shut. That's, uh, that's life. It has its own little balcony, super tiny balcony, but you can go outside through an airlock. I should add all of these doors to the automatic closing. Uh, we'll do that right now. There. Now all of the doors should close every 20 seconds or so, or so. And that'll just help with immersion a little bit. I do think that this I I like lights. I approve of lights. Um, this could be a different block. Uh, this one can't change because it's sloped on the outside. Uh, what else could I put here, though, honestly? I'm not going to put a fish tank because we already have the fish tank outside here. Right there. I guess I'll leave it plants. Because there aren't any plants in here otherwise. Eh, yeah, that'll be fine. That kind of finishes up the top bit of this... This vehicle. Not bad at all. Uh, 
I think we really should work on this front interior space. It's kind of the only part that's not finished in any way, shape, or form. The utility room isn't either, but it's a... This whole area is just for cramming in whatever we need at the time, so... I'm okay with it being kind of crazy back here. I do want to check real quick and make sure these haven't taken damage, because losing these is like losing all of our stuff, so it's not what we want to see ever. Happened once, hopefully it'll never happen again. And of course, as soon as I finish building, it's a sandstorm again. But we're going to use our little drill ship and we're going to get some uh, get some gold. Is this really where my marker is for the gold? I guess the hole I dug filled itself in. Which is not entirely surprising because I haven't been around here. We're going to pull forwards, and we'll just take our drill ship down into the big hole we dug. Yeah. We need to add some lights to our drill rig. First of all, we need to add backlights. Like those ones right there. do for backlights. I think we need a whole bunch of blinking lights on here, kind of how we have over there on the crane. Do a sequence of uh, blinking red lights. And then we should be, we should be good with that. That light. Uh, that one. And this one. And then we'll go down a little ways. I think I'll go here, actually. There and there. Come on. Let me place it. Thank you. And then we'll do one more. I think down here. Alright, let's weld those up and get them blinking and looking nice. Add some white, uh, just illumination lights around the bottom of it.
right, we're gonna make it. We're gonna make this blink a little bit tricky. So we'll have it go blink from the bottom to the top. But we're gonna stagger the right and left side so it blinks up, and then the other side it blinks up. We got three stages of blinking, so to break this down, this will be zero, one third, two thirds. Uh, but we need to break that down in half. So fifty percent of a third. Uh, we'll just go with. Uh, we'll go with 16. We'll just pretend that's close enough. Alright, so the lights are mostly on, but they will flicker off in sequence. Hopefully. It's impossible to tell during the day. We might have to work on that uh, at nighttime. Or when there's a storm. Which, it always stops as soon as I actually want it. Storms only occur when you don't want them. I haven't, uh, haven't actually done a playthrough on Titan yet. Yeah, look at this. The gold is still 50 meters down from the bottom of this. That's so figures. I actually kind of don't want to do it this way. Ooh, okay. We're gonna go in at an angle, starting from our our marking location. Wait, Titan has platinum on the surface. I thought I thought platinum was only in space. I could have swore they made that change. I thought platinum and uranium were only in space. Are you playing with mods? Or is it just, uh, am I just wrong? Could very well just be wrong about that. Oh. Yeah, I have no idea then. I know the, the resources are a little bit weird on our server. Like, there's some asteroids that have uranium, platinum, magnesium, cobalt, gold, and iron. Like, they have, like, every resource almost in abundance, so, and that's, that's not normal. So, I don't know, but I looked through the mod list and it I didn't see any of that uh, changed, that kind of thing, so, uh, I don't know. It's kind of weird.
Where is this gold? Oh, I'm getting further from it. Hmm. Oh, back. Went right through it and I didn't see it. Got it. Well. Well, it's kind of nice. It's nice to be able to have platinum, at least. Though, really, platinum's only used for space thrusters, ion thrusters, right? Can't think of anything else that platinum's actually used for. Writing, you can sell it for a whole bunch. Because gravity components and uh, superconductive coils, those only take gold. Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. I'm like, so it actually has platinum, but you have very little use for it there. That's weird. Just a weird combination. I'm getting a lot of stone. surprised but I guess you can do that on earth too right like you can use atmospheric and ion to get out it's just not efficient yeah I used to hate hydrogen thrusters because they just use so much fuel and uh yeah, it was like hydrogen and ion, and I played the game back when planets didn't exist, so I was like, why would I ever use hydrogen? I'm always in space, and ion just takes solar power. Super easy. But then I started playing on planets again, or like when they came out. I played on planets for a little bit, and uh, hated them because they used to rotate and used to just fall through them literally non-stop. So I didn't, uh, I didn't go back to playing on planets for years. Until they had like three or four years of being updated and working nicely. And then I went back to playing on planets and I started using hydrogen for everything because it works everywhere. I, I definitely agree now, like hydrogen is just the best, best option. I'm gonna jump out of my ship real quick and figure out where the heck I am in this tunnel. Okay. I don't think I ever experienced the one where you floated upwards. I just fell through the planet's surface and ended up in the middle so many times, and I got so tired of it. It was really bad on servers for a really long time, and it's so much better now. It's actually insane. Like, I actually love playing on planets now. Something I thought I would never say in Space Engineers.
there's just uh, they're completely different engineering challenges on planets, and uh, with the addition of wheels and rovers and like the stability improvements, there's more to do. There's uh, well, I wouldn't say there's more to do because there's kind of like infinite things to do everywhere because it's a sandbox, but there's more things to uh, to work with. Like you're not gonna ever use wheels or make rovers in space. You can do it, but uh, there's no point to do it. So. In a way, there's more to do on planets, and there's more challenges to overcome because you have to deal with gravity and daylight not always being out. So it is a—it's pretty fun, pretty fun. To agree. Yeah, in space, what I do to be entertained is uh, I do trading stuff. So I go between uh, different places and I trade, and I also chase the uh, strong unknown signals if they're enabled, and uh, try to meet up with other players. If I'm doing a space playthrough, I'll build a small grid ship that can go down to a planet. I'll just be like, hey, anyone want visitors? And I'll, I'll just meet up with people and hang out. Ah, gets us a little bit more gold, which is good. Yeah, sometimes you know, sometimes you meet up with somebody and they decide to you know slap a explosive on your ship and detonate it. Other times, it's uh, it's good. Like ninety nine percent of the time, players are super chill in space engineers. Like they just want to hang out and show you their stuff and look at your stuff. So, like, just meeting up and showing each other your ships is a lot of fun. And if you just want to meet up somewhere safe, you can meet up in one of the NPC safe zones. It's not 100% safe, but if you're the first one there and the last to leave, then it kind of is. But I've never had issues with that. Like, if you meet up with people in a safe zone, like those types of safe zones, I don't think I've ever had uh, somebody try and, like, blow the other person up or, or do anything really silly. It's, uh, it's pretty good. People just show off their ships and... And hang out. I've seen some really cool ship designs that were inspiring that way. It's surprising. Um, I always kind of just figured people built simpler things on servers. But, uh, people will go all out and build like these crazy subgrid disasters like I'm building and then just that's what they're doing on the server. They're just making an absolute mess of subgrids. But I don't know, it's pretty cool. I do have a decent amount of silver, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I have like 1.7 thousand. That's probably enough to get me by. Gold doesn't seem to be as rare. Don't have to worry about that. Magnesium's kind of not important to me because I don't have any turrets on this vehicle. I have turrets, but they're decorative. They're like on the solar panels, the interior turrets. Um, like right now, this rig is set up so like anyone can use it, <laughs> which might be a mistake, but that's eh, all right. Share with all. Um, so if other people spawn here, I don't want them like spawning here and just getting shot by my turrets, so. Yeah, yeah. Multiplayer is great for that specific reason. Getting to see what other people come up with and being able to work with other people is uh, it's really nice. Take a blooper into this. In case it does blow up. Unfortunately, I was aiming at the wrong grid.
I think I've nearly succeeded in using every single DLC on this. It's getting there. It's definitely getting there. I think the next thing I need is some sort of printer. That way I can print off a bunch of small rovers and we can like drive them around and do crazy stuff with them as a group, which I think would be a lot of fun. And then when they get trashed, they can just uh, be scrapped or left and we can print new ones. See through it a little better. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. It doesn't have to be super complicated. I just need a wall with some welders. And... What I might do is just take the whole floor out of here, take this front thing off. Just put some welders back there. Maybe put some grinders on the bottom. So I can. Uh... Well, there's not really room for grinders, unfortunately. I. Meh. Yeah, it's only one block high. Grinders are two blocks high. It'd be nice to have a grinding pit. Maybe that's what I'll do with another trailer. I'll make like a welding grinding trailer. I could always add a grinding pit to one of these sides here instead of having docks for little ships to land. I've been liking having that, but it's not 100% necessary to have it on both sides. Well, let's let's take some of this apart. I just took a blueprint, so it's not the end of the world. Oh my gosh, so much materials. Looks like I did take some damage down here from our last little drive around. So, uh, news to me. Yeah, I'm, uh, kept going, I kept going today. It's having a good time. We built a uh, drill rig. And did a few other things. Did some mining. Finished off the interiors of this. And there's really not much left to do with the main thing here. Probably a paint job. But yeah, it's been a pretty chill stream. I haven't been talking too much, so my voice isn't absolutely killing me. Which is nice. Yeah, the stream was supposed to end an hour ago. But... It doesn't have to, so it's not. I think I'm just going to put some welders in right here. I'll have to do something different for uh, an airlock to get inside. Might have to put a proper airlock in here instead of just our keen airlocks we've been using everywhere. But that's okay. It's not the end of the world. Ah, okay. Alright, let's put six welders in there. Uh, we might have to... We might have to do some piping underneath to make that work. But we can do it.
Ouch. I guess we don't really need this many bombers. But... Probably do with just three. I don't like the idea of having six, though. Yeah. I'm, I've just been using them everywhere since I realized that that was a, an option. Glad welders don't just start on. I would kill myself so often with them. Nicely. And now we have some room to do some sort of printing if we want to. have a block for this location. Ah, there it is. I might have to change up this front bit a little bit. I think it looks a little goofy right now. I just open this up entirely. Right here at least. I should probably put something there. I don't know what though. I, mean, I no longer feel like these are necessary. So we're gonna get rid of that and just make normal sides. in there. It's just a giant hole on the bottom of the rover now. We'll put um, put these blocks along here I think.
I don't know how to change this. Inventory full. Of course. All right, what should I do here? I do want to make it so I can walk across here. Another thing I didn't think about until just now, but I don't have a way to walk up into this rover, and I think that would be good. I should make an elevator of some sort. Right now, if I run out of uh, fuel, Energy low. I am screwed. If I run out of fuel on the ground. Safety sensor. That is a great idea, and I will definitely add that. Not sure where though. Somewhere. I think this will suffice for an airlock. Make one of my old fashioned airlocks. I actually didn't just turn this into a full door as well. It'll just function better that way. Ladder on a hinge. Um, I could also just make a sensor. If you stand under the sensor, it lowers the thing, and then when you step on it, it just raises it up. I think that would work just fine. Yeah. Hmm. That'll do for now. Uh, I should probably get this this airlock functioning though before I just, just space out and don't fuel do it. Low. Oh, my fuel. I just have to fix my fuel problem every time I hear that before bad things happen. We have the hydrogen. We have the technology. Oh, that looks so stupid. Whatever. Uh, I guess I could put it on a different block. Maybe I should do that. Mm. Yeah. Energy critical.
now I just need to name these doors. Easy. Airlock. Functional airlock, kind of. And this we can just... Uh, no oh. energy. Just run uh, that energy right there. Uh, I need to turn the sensor view off. And that should make us airtight on the other side again. I'm gonna have to add lights to this room. Why do I not have air in this room? That's what I'm currently wondering. Oh, I do. Why do I have a storm in this room then? Why is it so foggy? Or is it just dark? Maybe it's just dark. Like there's red sand in that room though. I suppose this room looks that way too, kinda. So now we have a wall of welders. We need a projector ship. I'm not gonna build a piston. I guess I could. I could have it. Good. I could have a piston system. And then when it's done printing, it retracts to here. And if it's a car, I just cut it and it drops down. Huh. I usually opt not to have pistons, but. I guess I could do it. I'm gonna opt for the the welder or the uh, projector ship, though. I think it's just gonna be better. It almost always is better. And then I can weld up a whole bunch of little cars and whatnot. Yeah, it looks foggy in here. Gosh, it bothers me so much. We're gonna build the projector ship up on the top deck here, though. Gonna be the simplest ship design ever. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. What were we doing? Building a ship. Projector ship. Uh, it doesn't need, actually need to have much going on with it. It just needs some batteries so that it can fly. A whole bunch of thrusters. 
also so that I can fly. I'm putting these kind of high up, but that's just so that they sit a little bit more, more nicely. Am I not going to be able to access this now? That is kind of frustrating. Build planner is not empty. What are you talking about? Seriously. Okay, whatever. It's just not giving me the uh, materials I want. We're gonna make a whole bunch of motors. I swear I make these things constantly and I just never have them. Yeah, we're gonna need a few hundred of those. What else are we gonna need? Under those, some of those, some of those, some of that. A few of those. Probably a bunch of these. All right, let's get a control seat. to use one of these. Turn off the inertial dampeners on that thing. this able to lift a lot. So we're going to go with a whole other one of these bad boys on the back. We're going to make it a long tube of a ship. Yeah, I don't know. They work. We just want a lot of lift and I don't care if this is pretty. It just needs to work. needs to work and needs to be able to lift a lot. Let me just check my, I believe that's 2.4 for each of them. For those thrusters, uh, 2.4 megawatts and the battery's put out four, so I still have Yeah, so those batteries will be able to power those three at maximum output. And I don't really need to be able to use side thrusters much, just enough to stabilize. So I don't think I need another battery. Put our little tab out the front. This is where we will project things. We don't need quite that many. Just two will work. And we'll use these thrusters. the new ones for our sideways thrusters though.
kind of excessive. Maybe we just use the small ones for sideways. Okay, why is it not grinding? Okay. Uh, yeah, I feel like just one big one. Probably all we need. I just want to keep this thing nice and slim. We can make it look okay on the sides. Just by like blending that in a little bit, maybe. single time I build a projector ship it comes out completely different just because I always uh, start fresh with my design and design for what I'm currently doing It's not the right block, is it? All this room for projectors right there. I am gonna add a little bit down here. Uh, I don't know why I'm trying to make this look okay. It's uh, 
not important at all. Don't have any of that stuff. I do need to add some gyro. Now I can add my projectors. I usually like welding from the tip of the ship. So I'm actually going to put these on backwards from what I normally would do. on here. projector ship. That's all that matters. It works. I should put a little bit of a bumper on the back of this. set up a couple blueprints so I can print things as soon as I want to. Uh, I think the first thing I might want to print is a small rover for scouting. Set up. Uh, maybe I'll print one of those up right away, just to make sure that this all works. Spheric projector ship. Oh, my gosh. Too much vertical lift, this is what happens. Just instantly run into the large grid. Large grid takes zero damage, but my stupid ship. It's 
why we can't have nice things right here. Small grid only all over again, I swear. Uh, whatever. Not a big deal this time. Because I can just fix it right away. Oh, wait, what? Hello? I had this problem earlier on our server when I was building a projector ship. Um, it just would randomly turn off. Like, there was no reason for that right there. The thrusters just turned off. No idea why. We're gonna leave it right there. I'm amazed that uh, it kind of survived that fall. Probably doesn't help that I'm super laggy right now. Like, I switch blocks and I just I can't even see what I'm doing right now. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it just fell out of this guy, it completely turned off the uh, everything. Motors? I'm out of motors again. Can we just make it a thousand motors? That'd be great. Yeah, I was having this exact same problem before when I was uh, using a projector ship. Every single time a new block got added or removed off of it, it just fell out of the sky. No idea why. sky entirely. I do need to make sure I actually recharge this before I find you stuff though. Stuff is fine. Have to remember to back out, not forward. So what is why is this one not recharging? Is this broken? Oh, it is recharging. It's just not mostly discharged. Uh, I'm a little worried that it has something to do with the uh, inertial dampener nonsense. Cause that's kind of what it's like. It's like it just turns the inertial dampeners off. Yeah, it's uh, it is laggy for some reason right now. It wasn't bad before. Maybe it's because we're both online and it's just trying to load too much stuff with both of us on. I don't know. 
Could also just be this time of day, you know? I really have no idea. Could be coincidence. For all I know. Alright, I'm gonna try this again and hopefully I don't fall out of the sky. Auto. Inertia panthers. Unlock. Back up. Don't go up. Alright, we are going to try very carefully to print a ship. Turn on our projection. Oh, let's turn it off. Alright. I'm usually not laggy, so... Gotta be careful pushing up. The ship lifts real well. I should put some windows or panels in front of these welders too. So I don't get my grid stuck in them. Actually, make sure I have enough materials to actually make all the. basically out of this, which is a problem. Should have enough of everything else to print this. I have to rearrange this so I can see what the heck I actually have. Might need more of these because I know my small grid rovers are usually made out of heavy armor entirely, so. Get a couple more of those printing. And I think I can print up this whole vehicle. Not having a attached GPU probably doesn't help. Uh, maybe? I don't know. There we go. Now we've got the turn on top printing. I was wondering why that wasn't working. Oh, I was just out of range. Just barely. One problem with having my printer way back here is I can't turn sideways along the side of it now. Having my welders way back there. So like, now I need to put these wheels on man. Or I wouldn't have had to do that. I'm 
menus on that stuff. A little unfortunate. Oh well, it kind of worked. Nothing else, we have the projector ship now. And we have another little vehicle. I need to make that safety turn off for my welders. Got a little truck now. Not sure what I'm going to do with it. But I can do stuff with it if I want. Feel so, it feels like an RC car compared to the, the big rotor. For sure. It's kind of funny. I kind of need to get this somewhere where I can recharge it. Or maybe I just throw a bunch of ice in it and I recharge it that way. I wish I knew what was supposed to be on these hotkeys. A little frustrating. Yep. Yeah. I could make another crane or something to lift this bad boy up or just get a piston with a connector down to, uh, to do something so I can recharge it at least. I don't know where would be a good spot to do that though. Because I, I have the big crane which was kind of for that but it's preoccupied lifting the Terra. Yeah, I don't have a good spot for something like that. Unless I build another trailer and it's just a whole bunch of hookup points for small vehicles. Add another connector to the crane. Maybe. So the crane can carry two cars instead of just one. Ah, uh, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. I think I'm just going to add a... Uh, I'm going to add something over here that, that goes out to the side and then uh, fix it up. Because I do have... Um, I have a point right here where I could do it. And that wouldn't be a bad place to do it. So we're gonna we're gonna have more subgrids, just it's endless. I want a T junction right here, and I'm gonna have a piston. Oh no, we're gonna. Hmm. Did I make this so it can fold forwards? Now nah, we'll just have a piston going out and then uh, piston going down or something. In? 
range. Engine on a piston? Yeah. All right, and then another piston. Yeah. Should have saw that coming. We're just making another small crane. <laughs> this is like the Frankenstein rover. So that should be able to get low enough to pick up this vehicle. Yes, it's, I guess. I'll, I'll take it. It's a castle. It is slowly getting stuff added onto it. Um, C2 for Crane 2. All those blocks are C2 now. Uh, I kind of want to add a custom turret controller to that to make it easy. I should have added a uh, rotor than the hinge. Let's just make this a fully functional crane. We'll do the motor hinge. This works, we'll just do this. Doesn't work, what do you know? Awkward. Alright, we need a 
a custom turret controller for that one. And I might just stuff that right here.
pushing on the car. So that was not working. Out. Should be working. Oh, you know what it is? It's pushing the car down because I'm hitting the uh, the gun on the car with my connector. That's kind of dumb. What? This is how we're going to store this car. We're just going to go like this. Actually, let's just store it upside down. That looks perfectly safe, right? There we go. Now we have uh, another vehicle. Just dangling off our big vehicle for no reason. Yeah, if we ever need to grab onto anything or have a extra docking point for something. do want to make sure the batteries are recharging on this one though. All right, I have that. I have this bad boy for printing things. We actually got quite a bit done today. Um, built the whole drill rig. Uh, not the base of it, but most of it. We finished off this interior room. He added a crane, built a projector ship, built this. What else did we do? I feel like main thing was the the drill rig. We also drove a little bit, but not a crazy amount of driving that was done. I'm gonna queue up a whole a whole bunch in our production. Um because I know we have the materials now, and then hopefully we won't run out of stuff as often in the future. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty much how the drill works. Uh, this all just kind of unfolds, and it the bottom part spins. It works okay. I'm gonna say it works great. It's just not. It doesn't go as deep as I'd like it to go. I did a setup with pistons, but this uh, this ended up being what we settled on. Just more stable than the piston setup that I had going. 
and uh, I just realized my lights are flickering at like the wrong these ones are switched it should be that one that one that one <laughs> whatever I'm not gonna worry too much about that but yeah, the piston, the hinges just all unfold and it goes down scissors left style. And then we have an ejector system set up. So this swings out to the side and we can throw out dirt and uh, trashy tools that we don't want anymore. I'm going to fix that light. That light thing is going to just disturb the heck out of me. Which one is this called? This is... Interior 6. What's the other one? Six and five I need to be toggled with four. Oh, four and three. Okay. Okay, that hell isn't working right. What the heck? Why is it? Why is it like that? Which ones are these named? Seven. get this right before I finish for the day. Uh, we'll call that good now. I'm gonna make these not as big of a radius. That's a little bit better. And I will, I'll cave in and I'll put another light just like this one on the other side. Wasn't going to do it, but I'll do it. Uh, if it lets me place it, okay, maybe I won't do it. It's not letting me place it. I'll do it next time we drop the drill down. It's just like got a ton of arms going different directions, doing different things. Subgrid terror. All right. I'm gonna turn the hydrogen engines back on. We did mine a whole bunch of ice.
just because we are going to be running stuff. And I want to make sure the batteries are full next time I'm on. Uh, next time we find some ice, we'll just park the drill rig over it and we'll just drill some ice real quick. Shouldn't be terribly difficult or long to do that. For now, though, I think I'm going to crawl into this little bed here and call it a day. Thanks for tuning in for the stream, hanging out. It was fun. Thanks for the idea for the, uh, the swinging arm for my dispenser thing. That was good. I need more ideas like that. Unnecessary additions to uh, make my ship more likely to explode. Alright, I'll catch you all later.